As you all know, the Earth's crust is divided into many plates that sit atop the mantle. Hot spots within the mantle result in convection currents that force the plates to continually move along the surface, often striking one another. At the edges of these plates are plate boundaries, and there are three types, divergent, convergent and transform. We are looking at the convergent plate boundaries in this presentation. The map shows all of the major plate boundaries on Earth, with the convergent boundaries highlighted in blue. One convergent boundary that we'll be looking at in this video is this one, the boundary between the Nazca and South American plates. The South American plate is continental, whereas the Nazca plate is oceanic. The continental crust is less dense than the oceanic one, so it forces the oceanic plate underneath it when the two collide, in a process known as subduction. In this case, the Nazca plate is subducted under the South American plate, where it melts upon entering the mantle. This creates a large depression known as an oceanic trench. The trench at our location, known as the Peru-Chile Trench, is nearly 6,000 kilometres long and is 8,000 metres deep. To give you an idea of scale, Mount Everest is 8,800 metres tall. When the oceanic plate is subducted, it melts, and this can lead to a long chain of volcanoes running the length of the plate boundary. This process is what led to the eruption of the Shai-10 volcano in Chile back in 2008. Subduction can also lead to large earthquakes. The Nazca plate is not completely smooth, so it occasionally gets stuck as it passes underneath the South American plate. When it does so, the pressure continues to build until the plates jolt past each other and a large tremor can be felt. This was the case in Chile in 1960, where a magnitude 9.5 earthquake struck, the largest since records began. Approximately 6,000 people were killed, of whom 185 were 15 hours after the initial tremor by a 35-foot tsunami striking Hawaii, more than 6,000 kilometres away.